Syrian security forces killed at least nine villagers at a roadblock in Homs, activists said today. This follows one of the deadliest days in the months-long protest when some 40 civilians were killed last Friday in a crackdown that included house-to-house raids. The ongoing unrest in Syria has forced thousands of people to flee the country, many of them to Turkey. Many come from the city of Jasir al-Shagur, which was besieged by government forces in June. Nearly five months later, more than 7,500 Syrians are still in Turkey, living in five separate Red Crescent camps in villages surrounding the southern city of Antakya. Hermione G. visited the camp of Benoyan last month, the temporary home of some 1,300 Syrian refugees. Hundreds of peaked white tents line the streets of the Boynuyan refugee camp, a half square mile of asphalt surrounded by cotton and wheat fields. Men sit around in groups smoking and drinking tea. Some watch the news from Syria in a crowded television room. Women sit at the entrance of their tents talking and knitting. There's a kindergarten and a school for the children, a computer lab and a mosque. Most of the Syrians in Boynuyon are quick to express their gratitude to Turkey for taking them in. But they also feel trapped, says Syed Mohammed, a 35-year-old man from Jasa al-Shagur. What we need, what we are asking, they give it us. We have to thank this government. But here we can't do anything. Just eat, sleep, talking. We are dying here, slowly dying here. We don't have work. We don't have the, our families. We want to change our life to freedom. Everyone here, the child, the old one, the women, the young people, they want that freedom. But there are also daily reminders of why they're here. For some, their physical scars from being tortured by Bashar Assad's regime. For others, their memories of what they saw or people they lost. Mohammed Indari, a young man in his 20s, takes out his cell phone and plays a short video of a demonstration he attended in May that quickly turned bloody. We go to Idlib to say no Bashar, uh, no killing, and the uh, policeman, uh, secret police, uh, he kill this, this, in uh, Kleshenkov, uh, kill 150 People, you can uh, listen. You see, see. No, I, I can't see. True. True. Mohammed Ramadan lost two sons during that demonstration, both shot by government forces. A third son is missing, and his family doesn't know if he's in jail or if he's also dead. Ramadan fled to Turkey with his wife and two daughters in June. هربنا هربنا طبعا من بطش النظام طلعنا حريم لنحميهم من بطش We left Syria because we were seen as the enemy We just wanted freedom peace and dignity but we were treated like terrorists We were being killed by the weapons that were bought with our own tax money We are hopeful after we see the events in Libya and Tunisia that the same thing will happen in Syria. But we don't want the brutalities. We just want free elections, like in Europe and in America. We want to change the regime by our vote, not by guns. Here in the Red Crescent camp, the Syrians exercise their right to demonstrate on a regular basis. Today, a crowd of young men marches through the camp chanting anti-Bashar slogans. But they're starting to wonder if anyone's listening, says Ramadan. Compared to Tunisia and Libya, the international community is very slow in reacting to the events in Syria. For eight months, we haven't seen any action from the international community. And it's mostly because of the veto of China and Russia. Because of this, people are still being killed. We ask for the protection of the international community. States like Britain, Belgium, Spain, America. We want a secure area, protected from the army of the regime. And we believe that many soldiers will defect after the secure area is announced. Another refugee, Mohammed's daughter ML Ramadan, is a softly spoken 25-year-old. She was at university in Syria before she fled to Turkey 
and now teaches computer skills to female refugees in the camp. She just wants to go home. I wish I uh, back to homeland. I very miss them. Friends, brother, uh, sisters. Uh, miss uh, country. Hmm. Inshallah. Back to homeland. Inshallah. Hermione G, FSRN, Antakya, Turkey.